you gotta take a shoot all that or what are you doing? This is director's choice, obsession, bodies of work. And we're so lucky to be here early because the artist who made these lovely pieces is here. And his name is Robert B. Lott. Hi there. Hello. Gilda, how you doing? Go over there in the light, in the dark. Yeah, these are awesome. And you were telling us about this. I want you to. Okay, in 2002, this suite was done, completed, and then I showed a couple of painter friends of mine. They didn't like it, so I threw it in a box in the corner of my studio. And it has to do with, in 2002, my boss at Schoolcraft College said, you will learn the computer or you will look for another job. So I won the battle but lost the war. So I am doing the computer now, but this is what was left of my opinion of trophies from the Luddite War. I love these. Yeah, good. They have the same kind of tension as your work with, like that I have in my studio. The, with the metal? With, with the, yeah, and the, the stones yeah. and... I had once asked a friend, because this is such a segue from my casting work, yeah. that does this look like B-Lot? And he just, Todd Erickson went, oh yeah, this looks like B-Lot. There's no question about it. This is B-Lot. These are... No, at first I saw that you were in here, and I walked in, I said, well, where's B-Lot? And then I said, wait a minute, this is B-Lot. <laughs> I love these. Why, well, thank you, Gilda. And the thing I like about this show being here, and anything that you can say about it, is because when the students see this work, we're always talking about the body of work and judging an artist on their entire Sweet body of work. Time, yeah. Yes, not just one piece. Yeah, no. In a, a way, that's not. Yeah. Of pieces. And that way, well, after 40 years, the more you do this, the more you're getting your own voice. And the more you can say, well, I'm not listening to critics any longer, the more you as the sculptor. That's it, you know? Not listening to critics anymore. <laughs> Just doing what you've got to do. To do. If it makes sense to you as an artist, then do it. These, you were so fortunate to come in contact with that, that cache of materials. Oh yeah, oh, but this, the cash started it. The rest of it was the electrical store and avi aviator cable. Yeah. You know, the red cable. Oh, oh small that's what, fortune. That's what this stuff is yes. right here. Small fortune oh. and copper and all of that. So when it was all said and done, it looks like a cheap fix, but it's not. No. <laughs> They're never making art as cheap. No. But what I like is that people come in here, especially young artists who are here, they'll see that I can make art out of whatever you want to. I yeah. made art out of twisted twigs and tied them together. So did many shamans from tribes as what important you are. things. You're a shaman. Somebody once said that to me. I keep coming around. <laughs> That's why you had the fish on your... That's because I'm the big fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Christmas gift from my wife. <laughs> well, you are the big fish. I'm glad this work is here. Thanks so much. Oh, my pleasure.